The Nashville-based musician won her first Grammy, thank you very much, Best American Roots performance for her song, Eve Was Black. But the celebration soon turned to controversy in her home state. How come? During a routine legislative session, two separate resolutions were put forward in the Tennessee House to honor Russell and fellow home state band that would be Paramore for each winning Grammys. But House Republicans blocked the resolution to honor Russell while allowing the resolution for Paramore to pass. What's up with that? Paramore's lead singer, that's Haley Williams, called the move, quote, blatant racism. In a statement, Republican caucus chair, that's Jeremy Fison, told CBS Mornings, quote, members routinely come to me with questions about items on the consent calendar, which was the case for this particular resolution. But he did not elaborate on what those questions were. Allison Russell is with us at the table, and we just want to say first, congratulations, congratulations. on your Grammy win. Yeah, Despite win. all of this controversy and kerfuffle oh. surrounding what should have been a symbolic, ceremonial, celebratory move in yeah. your honor, turn to this. So when you first heard about it, where, where were you and what did you think? I was actually on an airplane. I, I missed hearing about it till I landed. I was on an airplane coming back from Montreal, Quebec, where I was part of one of the uh, oldest, longest running shows in, in Quebec called Tout le monde en parle. And mm -hmm. I was so excited that I'd been on the show that Céline Dion had been on. And yes. Coming home to Nashville to my daughter and I got off the plane and my phone started blowing up. And I actually got a call from Representative Jones, uh, Justin Jones, Justin Jones. Uh -huh. who is just brilliant representative for District 52 in, in Tennessee, freedom fighter, one of the Tennessee yeah, three. Yeah, we know him. Yeah. But Allison, when you hear that Paramore is going forward and yours is not, yeah. were you hurt? Were you angry? What, what do you think the reason is? Uh, you know, unfortunately, there's a pattern of behavior that's pretty blatant. I think it goes beyond dog whistle, whether uh, their issue with me is that I'm black or that I'm queer or that I'm an immigrant uh, to the U.S. I don't know. Maybe none of the above, but one can speculate that has mm -hmm. something to do with it mm -hmm. based on the way the, the J Justin Jones and Justin Pearson have been treated by that same mm -hmm. uh, caucus chair, mm -hmm. um, by the way that uh, T.J. Osborne's from the brother Osborne. About, yes. The, the same representative had an issue mm -hmm. with his uh, honoring T.J., who is the first uh, man in, mm -hmm. in mainstream country to come out. To come out. Way. Right. Um, yeah. We did get a, a statement from uh, Rep. Uh, Faison, and he points out that Democrats in the same week bumped similar resolutions honoring middle school teachers, a U.S. combat veteran, and an entire elementary school essentially saying these kinds of things happen all the time. Mm -hmm. What do you, how do you take that? Well, actually, that? he puts a sharper point on it, I think is interesting. He says, look, some Democrat bumped schools and veterans, and we didn't leap to the conclusion that they're anti-veterans or anti-schools. Right. And so they're accusing you of leaping to this racism charge when they're just saying, look, this is the way things I go. I actually didn't make a racism charge. I responded to um, Representative Jones' video and statement about what had happened. I watched yeah, the Paramore speaker. Yeah, made it about racism. I watched the yeah. speaker. And Justin Jones called it Jim Crow. Yes. I watched the speaker turn off Representative Jones' mic when he was clearly making an announcement while gaslighting him to say he wasn't making an announcement. I mean, anyone can go watch it. I, I don't want to personally spend too much time shining a light on what they're doing. I've. The, the, the reality is that they have been in, because they have a so-called supermajority, which I want to point out isn't actually a supermajority. We are, th we have less than 32% of our population showing up to vote. Mm -hmm. We are 49th yeah. in the country in exactly. terms of voter turnout. Vote. So yeah. it's not a supermajority, yeah. it's that we need to motivate and, and encourage and empower our, the voters in Tennessee to show up at the polls. Can we wanna... celebrate your Grammy win? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah because that's what we're, yes. we'll talk about your music. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. What that felt like you, for you, your first Grammy, and by the way, you were on stage with Joni Mitchell, drop the microphone, but talk about that first Grammy win, what that meant to you. It was incredibly uh, uplifting and shocking. I, shocking? Yes, I did mm -hmm. not, never in a million years did I think I would hear my name called and my song, Eve Was Black, uh -huh. honored in that way. Um, and it honors my whole circle of collaborators, the whole Rainbow Coalition. And it was, it was a frantic, hectic day where we were rehearsing with Joni on the telecast and then running through the tunnels in the underground <laughs> of the complex to get to the premiere ceremony. I didn't even have shoes on when I ran up to the podium. But it was joyful. And I think about Mavis Staples. I think about the shoulders we're standing on. She was 
in her, what, 72, 73, when she won her first Grammy. Mm -hmm. um, and she, so many artists that have come before have kicked the doors open for an artist like me who in the past would have probably fallen between the yeah. cracks of genre mm -hmm. to be recognized. And I'm grateful to the Americana community for that. Yes. I'm grateful to Brandy Carlisle for that. Um, Jason Isbell, Brandy Clark, like we've all kind of come into the recording academy world under the wings of the Americana community, which is really doing the DEI work. And you're great friends with Rihanna Giddens, who's on yeah. Beyonce's song. I, know. <laughs> I you, you fell song. over when I, because I. Did she tell you she was Rhiannon on? Rihanna had mentioned that she was maybe going to collaborate, but I didn't hear anything more. And that was, that was probably two years ago. And I thought I didn't, you know. I, but I heard the first notes of the banjo. And you knew. On Texas Hold'em. And that's you knew Rhiannon's that's her banjo. That's great. Nobody <laughs> sounds like her. Nobody sounds like my sister Rhiannon. You know, it's, she plays this incredible fretless. It's a replica of an 1850s minstrel banjo. It's incredible. Allison, well, can we say nobody you. sounds like you either? Yeah, uh, your incredible you. voice. We're going to let go of the controversy. Thank Just you. know we're yeah. cheering you on and congratulations. congratulations. Huge Very happy to see you. Yeah. Huge congrats. Thank you. And I love your suit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love your dress. I'm going to be taking pictures of that. <laughs> Thank you so much.